if I suck. If I think something's right, I have a really hard time putting my opinion in. Some people might not like that about me. It is what it is. I, I use social media like like I would if I wasn't a pro ball player. Uh, I'm, I hope, I'd rather you get to know who I am, really, than, than not be me. Um, and I think, you know, at the end of the day, I, I really would be, I'd be, it would eat me up inside if there was a situation where I felt like I needed to be gotten in. And that's what kind of led to the decision to donate to all your checks and all this? Yeah, there, it was a whole host of reasons. Uh, obviously, you know, what happened in my hometown played into it. You know, being involved in the dialogue with uh, protests. And, you know, I really do believe we live in the best country in the world, but, you know, if you're, I hate to use this cliche metaphor, but if you're on the best team in the world, you don't stop practicing. Uh, we got, we got, we got things we need to improve, um, and guys are trying to, guys really care about the community. This stuff, we're, you know, people always point this out, we're millionaires, we play a sport for a living, this stuff doesn't affect us in a lot of ways. Well, one, that's not true for some of my teammates, and two, uh, wouldn't you want us to care about people less fortunate and, and fix things that don't affect us? And, you know, that, that's what guys are trying to do. Are you the only white player in the Players Coalition? It seems like, like the only there, there might be players. another. There might be another one. Uh, but, you know, in the core group, I guess so. I don't mean to pass judgment on other players, but you guys always talk about being teammates and everything. And, yeah. and is it odd to you that other white players haven't stepped forward also? I mean, said, I think sometimes you want other players of every ethnicity to step forward. I mean, obviously, you want more white guys involved. I think white guys do care, but they don't know how to maybe get in the, you know, in the conversation. That, you know, they might care and feel the exact same way I do, but something's holding them back, whether it's maybe their contract or whatever. Uh, you, I, I've, I've accomplished a lot of what I want to accomplish in this league. Uh, I'd, I'd rather stand for what I stand for and then let the chips fall where they may as far as my career is concerned. Uh, I do think just more players in general can get involved. Do you, do you get a lot on social media from, you know, I've seen some of the things that people get, say to you. I get some people, interesting ones. Why do you care as a white guy and, and you were raised with privilege? And yeah, well, that's the point. I mean, I, I had a lot, you know, we talked about with the educational equity um, initiative. I had every opportunity. Why wouldn't I want other people to have that opportunity, uh, especially when I didn't fully appreciate it? So, you know, and these are my best friends, guys I played with for 10 years in the league. They're like family to me, and we didn't all come from the same neighborhood. And I can perfectly accept that. I might love America, but, you know, certain teammates might have looked at America through a different lens their whole life. So why is that so hard to just, let's, let's figure it out a little bit. It was really hard. Uh, it was really hard. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and be like, man, that was so hard for me because I'm from Charlottesville. That's a reality for uh, the, the, that ugly sort of stuff is a reality that a lot of people, um, it affects them more knowing it exists than, than just me. Yeah.